What Thai traditional house look like? Today we're gonna take a look at some of the Thai traditional houses because I have a event a venue that I had to take care of so let's go check out some of the locations there a couple places that are very interesting they're old Thai house but in Bangkok so uh, maybe you want to take a look at those if you are visiting Bangkok what do you think about it I'm debating should I leave it or maybe get rid of it no no <laughs> comment down below what you think about it okay so hit the gym and then clean up and take a look at those houses let's go Right now, I'm at Mr. Kukrit Ramo's house. It's a teak house right in the middle of Bangkok. And this place is great because you can come and take a look at the old style Thai house. Let's go inside and take a look. Kukrit Heritage Home, or as the locals call it, Ban Soi Sun Pu. Soi Sun Pu is very near Sa Thorn Road, that is the main business area here in Thailand. This house is over 200 years old. It is combined from five different houses. Each house was built many decades ago and looked after very well. The main house was built from tea. It is raised from the ground up like the Thai traditional or Thai style house connected to five smaller houses. There's a teak wood path that stretched to each individual house. Each little house plays a different role. Some is for banquet or dining room, like this one here. The main path that connects it to this house is made into a garden. If you look around, the ambience of the house is full of trees and plants that give shade to the house. There's also a open pavilion or salatai for doing different activities outdoor. This was inspired by Wat Bawaniwe, Raja Wara Amhawi. If you look inside, there's two cabinets containing masks. The other cabinet is for Buddhism scriptures made by Mr. Tuan Dachani, a very famous artist. And these two cabinets are almost 200 years old. <laughs> There's different statues here. There's a statue of the Goddess of Mercy, Chaman Kuan Im, and the warrior Kuan Wu, received as a gift from Deng Xiaoping, the ex-president of China. Upstairs of these teak wood house are decorated with oarsmen for commemorations of Mr. Kukrit's father. These will be placed above each doorway to respect the memory of the house owners. As you can see, the rooms are quite small, so each room or each small house have its own purpose. Like this one is a bedroom, and we also see a Buddha room, a study, and a big hall that now collects many antique items. This house is now a valuable museum surrounded by high-rise buildings, and this confirms that even though Mr. Kukrik passed away for a long, long time, his memory now still generates benefits for the next generation to learn about culture, tradition, and even architecture. So if you are in the Saturn or Silom area, don't forget to drop by and the entrance fee is 50 baht for adults and 20 baht for kids. This will be a great opportunity to learn something about culture, tradition, and the old style architect of Thailand. So we are on our way to the second location. Uh, we're listening to the radio and they were talking about the construction worker in France about how they're helping building back up the North Dam. So my heart goes out to all those who's trying to help all the construction workers. And it kind of made me think about the different places, their bucket list that I want to check out. What about you guys? You have any particular place you want to visit, especially here in Thailand? What exactly do you want to see? Maybe I can take you there. So off to our second location. All right, we are at Ban Lien Kham Thieng Museum. So this is uh, right in the middle of Aso. It's, it's amazing because this is the traditional Lana Thai style house. And it's like in the middle of the city, but it is a museum. So you can come and take a look and uh, enjoy yourself. There's also a nice restaurant and 
around here. So let's go look. Oh. Whoop. Oh, somebody's having a wedding here. That's nice. All right, one thing that you can see is that traditional Thai, northern part of Thai, the house will have these here. This little, like a cross or bird-like shape is called Ga Leng. This Ruen Kam Tieng Museum is located in Aso, Sukhumvit area. This museum is looked after by Siam society. The organization was found since the regime of King Rama V for conservation of culture, heritage, and environment of the country. Kam Tieng Museum was built in a Lanna style or the Thai Northern traditional style with wooden joint technique. I think that means no nails involved. Sometimes we can call this Ga Le House. There's five different zones in this house. The main zone is the terrace. On the top floor is where they sleep and cook and do all sorts of stuff. And this center area is where they congregate and have dinner. And next to the terrace is the Ten. Ten means the open area for multiple purposes and activities such as welcoming guests, having meals. Okay, let's take a look in these small houses. As you can see, this one is the kitchen. And this here is the Buddha room. These flowers are made to worship Lord Buddha and also for many Buddhist and royal ceremonies. Now let's make our way to the bedroom. But before we go in, we will see an intricate wood carving. This is called Ham Yun. At the top of the door frame, this symbol is for protecting black magic getting into the room. There are many designs depending on the carvings. Many craftsmen, many families have their own design in doing this Ham Yun. bedroom is for family members only. This is a very strict rule. That's why we bow our head to pay respect and ask for permission to enter, even though it's a museum. And lastly is Sakyan, or traditional Thai tattoos. We believe that these wordings or these tattoos give special abilities or powers to protect from harm and from evil spirits. And it is 100 baht for visiting this museum. So if you have a chance, don't forget to stop by and there's a nice cafe, coffee shop right in front. The house is not square, it's kind of like slanted a bit. Leon Kam Tieng Museum, so if you want to experience like the northern Thai style house here, you can come and take a look what's the difference between the normal center Thai and the northern Thai. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to press that like and subscribe button. If you didn't, that's okay, you know what to do. Thanks for spending this time with me. Thank you. See you guys next week. Bye.